I'm mad at San Diego and Dean Spanos. Why? He just crapped on the fans. It's one thing to oh, move. Get over it. What? No, he didn't crap on the fans. Move that mic closer. I want to hear your. How, how did he crap much. on the fans? Okay, yeah. so the day the ink's not dry in the divorce. Yeah. He's dating another girl. Like you're not going to wait a day to have a new logo. A day? How how long have they been trying to get a stadium done in San Diego? Several years. Okay. Several. <laughs> you, let, let, hey, I, I know you've been in Connecticut for a while. Yeah, get close to that bike. <laughs> Several. It's been about 20. <laughs> Several years, so, and you're mad. So you're shocked. I'm not shocked. I think there's a dignity he's been, to it. He's been seen around town with the other woman for 20 years, and now you're shocked <laughs> he's moving in with her. Okay. No, you know what it you, is. You, my friend, are not a sleuth. Yeah. It's like the guy was <laughs> cheating already with his wife for 20 years. You can't be surprised. Right. There you go. You're just taking a negative. That's all. You're just taking a bad side here. <laughs> I am? Yes, you are. How about dignity? Dignity. I'd love, you know what? I'd love to see. I love playing down in San Diego. Yeah, <clears throat> loved it. Dan Fouts, the whole thing. That phenomenal team they yeah. had. It's a great place to play. You you wish that they could get something done, but the stadium, the non shared revenue, the luxury boxes, all that comes with it. That's what supports a football team and makes them. Competitive. So you're Hall of Fame guys, and you're like, this is just the, this is the way it operates. Listen. I'm different than Howie. Here's how. If I were as rich as Dean Spanos, yeah. I'd say, ah, I'll just stay right here in this old dog of a stadium because <laughs> I love this city and I'll just hang out here and, and I'll have an excuse for not bringing in free agents. And I would have stayed. I wouldn't care about the money because to move, to move is what, $650 million? Is that right? Relocation? It uh, depends on where you move. Yeah. To. to move to L.A., I think it was 500 or 600 500. million. So you 500 have... million <clears throat> to move up the freeway? So I'll, one on, I just take the 500 and invest it locally and let it happen. I like, stay I like his Diego. answer, not your cold-hearted one. Well, I, my cold-hearted answer is that of a 57-year-old. <laughs> I mean, at, at 28, 30, a little more idealistic. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't understand the business. At that point, you, you, got, you have to remember, I was drafted by the Oakland Raiders. Mm -hmm. I was in Oakland for two years, and we moved to Los Angeles. So I went through this. It's brutal. So my, It is brutal. But at 21, 22, you don't really understand it. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's difficult. I'm going to miss the bolts. Yeah. I think that is so cool. They got cool. the bolts. John Hadle, Lance Allworth. I mean, come John on. John Jefferson, Fouch. Yeah. Yeah. Those great offensive lines for years. Yeah. Dan, yeah. Eric Coriel. Chuck <clears throat> Muncie? New colors. It'd be interesting. It's Ed White. Okay, Chuck, so Chuck, where they Muncie play the, uh, Chuck Muncie was a load. load. One of the most underrated players in the oh, history. Oh. He had some personal issues. Yes, but and if, if not for that, Chuck Muncie would, might be in conversation. Uh, okay, so for, a couple, couple weeks ago, I don't know if you've heard about this, but you, you, know, you and I, we all get paid to have strong opinions. Sure. So you go out, and, and for the record, I agree with your opinion. I've said Tom, I wouldn't fire Tomlin. But I, I don't consider him in that upper class. I think sometimes he's too emotional, almost has a player feel to him. And Tomlin, oh, he came right back at Terry Bradshaw. This week, I made a harmless <laughs> comment about Dabo Sweeney. A harmless. I said his team was a fraud. And then he came out and <laughs> That just, is a terrible let word. Let me tell you something about those fraud. folks down in South Carolina. Hey, those folks down in South Carolina. You don't been go down there. there. You've been down to Clemson? <laughs> Oh boy. You won't get out of there. Oh don't go there. I'm telling you right now. Don't say, hey, and people down that. there, buddy, going to take you and don't, just hey, and drag don't, you around. Don't, don't take that. Don't I'm worried take that, for you, uh, Colin. Don't take that button down plaid shirt down yeah, there. And that, buddy. and that Seattle sensibility because they don't really care about it. Okay. So, you, Colin, honest to God, seriously, fraud. So that's what bothers you. Fraud. Why did you say fraud? Well, it came out of my mouth. Okay. Oh, so it just happened. Well, I just, I don't, I'm not like you. I can't, I'm not a perf. I don't, I, you, you sing, you dance, you do a bunch of stuff. You're a performer. I'm a multi talented person, is what you're trying to say. I'm not. I talk three hours See, a day, this, Howie. This stage is indicative of our IQs versus your IQ. <laughs> I can't. So don't, don't play well, the dumb you said, cards. You defined fraud yesterday as someone who deceives you, right? So technically they were deceiving they you. you. They almost lost whoa, seven games, Howie. They almost lost seven times. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that is just wrong. What? Almost. Almost seven times they lost. But they, did they win them? Well, they lost to Pittsburgh, but they won the other six. Okay. Um, so six and one, not bad. Okay, so just play the Dabo, Sweeney. Just I it, saw it. It's, it's awesome. hilarious. <laughs> I don't think Listen, it's hilarious. The best hilarious. thing that happened to hey, your I show. I chuckled over my coffee the other yeah. day. You played it. You thought it was funny. Oh, gotcha. oh funny. Yeah. Good for the ratings. <laughs> the show is on the way up, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. Your demographics down there. <laughs> okay, play Dabo ripping me.
You know, the guy that called us a fraud. Oh, boy. Ask fraud. Alabama for a fraud. Was his name Colin Coward? There you go. Got your Ask name. Him. I don't, never met him. Don't know him. Ask him <laughs> there if, it is. if we're Alabama for a fraud. Ask Ohio State if we're a fraud. Ask Oklahoma <laughs> if we're a fraud. The only fraud is that guy. I thought because he, he didn't do his homework. Praise Jesus. I hope y'all print that. He's a Christian man right there. I thought initially you, he was saying frog, but that's me from the north. <laughs> frog. Okay. <laughs> So it when you took got, me five years to understand him. Hey, listen, Chuck No got sued by one of the Raiders. I can't remember. George Atkinson. Atkins, because yeah. they called him a criminal. Yeah. Criminal. He got sued. <clears throat> sued with court. Yeah. That's I right. didn't. I didn't think. I thought I was being kind of playful when I called him a fraud. I think so too. By the way, you called Tomlin again. People were mad. Not that you criticized Tomlin on the on the one word cheerleader right okay so play that like this sounded <laughs> when you said this let's play it didn't bother me at all but but like you there was a bothered word. me after i said it okay let's play the sound <laughs> let's play it yeah i don't think he's a great coach right, at all um i look a little heavy he's, a, he's a nice coach and he's a you're, to me I, you're a and i've really, said this I like said oh, he's, a, he's, he's, he's really a great cheerleader guy i don't know what he does but i I don't think that he's a great coach at all. Never, even, His name never even pops in my mind when we think about great co coaches okay. in the NFL. I think it's the I think it's cheerleader-like right. fraud. Right. If you said that and took that out, people would be like, well, Terry's just going to – so you did regret right. it. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't regret it until uh, um, I actually forgot about it. Mike came back at me, yeah. which he should have never done. Right. Just – it's like Dabo. Don't let people know that you get to them. Right. Just blow it off. But he, he responded. Mike responded. That's recruiting. And, that, this is different. and that's fine. You know, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said cheerleader. But he is, we've to talked, me, we've, on the sideline, he's, you know, that's what I thought about. But uh, <clears throat> We've talked about it. We've it talked about it in the truck a couple of times, you and me. Yeah. Uh, we were driving up to Pasadena in the god awful traffic out here, and yeah. the way back down here, and we talked about it. Uh, about a that bit. comment? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 by the way, Howie, I'd ask you. I didn't think Ter my opinion of Tomlin is, um, and again, I, I, I want to be fair. It's like comparing anybody to LeBron looks average. Everybody looks average to LeBron. Um, I've always thought of Tomlin as a guy I like, heavy emotion, knows personnel. He almost has a player in him a little bit. Like most coaches are coaches. He, he's got like 20% player. Schematically, I've always been. <laughs> well, you know, we're not in the building. Right. So you and I don't know yeah. how much of the schematics he's involved in on a day-in, day-out basis. And to be fair, Mike Tomlin, I think, even said, look, I, I don't consider myself to be a great coach. I mean, I, I look great as a, a word you just is thrown around far too easily. I mean, he talked about Bill Belichick. No, and, no. And, and, and to be fair, that's accurate. But there are chapters in Mike Tomlin's book that are yet to be written. Right. And, and I think outside looking in without having the knowledge of what goes on in meetings, I would say this about Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin sets the tone for that football team uh, emotionally, uh, who they are physically, their toughness, their mindset. Uh, and that can't be minimized. No, and I, one of the things I really do like about Tomlin a lot, he did this yesterday with Joey Porter and Big Ben's injury. Tomlin came out and said, that's on me. Don't ask, don't ask the offensive coordinator. I had Big Ben in. I will say this about Tomlin. He addresses stuff like this, whether it's funny or not. Yeah. And I always like his answers. His, yeah. He kind of owns his baggage. He's like, I had Big Ben out there. That's on me. I like guys yeah. who do that. Yeah, stand up. Stand he's up a, guy. He's a stand up Absolutely. human being. Wait, I know you guys have a big meeting, but you don't have – just come back for one more segment. Yeah. All right, just don't go anywhere. Sure. Not going. Not leaving. <laughs> it's right around. Would, would not leave you hanging, but We're on stage A. He right. got my back. Oh, yeah. he, he hit your wagon to that. <laughs> <laughs> you got that going for you, It'll... which is nice. <laughs> back in a second. Nobody has been uh, nicer to me than Howie Long and Terry Bradshaw at this network. Although Menifee's pretty nice and Jimmy and Strand are too, but you guys have been really nice to me. So I appreciate that. So let's quit Our sucking pleasure. up. All right. It's uh, because we like you. Well, that's Aww. nice of you to say. Yeah, All we right, do. here's a moment on your show, which has been number one for uh, it, since its inception, a dominating show, Fox NFL Sunday. Here's uh, Terry making some picks, and Howie, play the tape if you could, guys. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. My guaranteed oh, lock okay. today is Buffalo, and my upset's Cleveland. <laughs> you know they're playing they're each other. They're playing one another. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's your pick? What's your pick? What's your pick? I just told you. He doesn't know. <laughs> what you have to understand is, and this is what people, this is what the whole, this scam, this total scam that, that Jethro Clamp it is running. You know, let, let's let's go out to the cement pond. Let's right, do our right. gazintas. He throws stuff up on a. I'm telling you, folks. Trust me, <laughs> it's 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 batting practice. I'm the it's only soft one. toss. It's not even batting practice. It's soft toss. It's boom. He I'm just the throws only them up. one of the five of us that's a member of the Menza Society. You are. They are. Is that true, Howie? I'm not a gambling man. I've never bet a dollar in my life. I would bet a million dollars that no, that's no. not true. I can't check it out anyway, so you don't. I have my card. I'll show it when the oh. show's over. Okay, sure yeah. you will. Unless that's a level of shopper at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> See how funny Howie is. See, hey, listen. That's he, not my role on our really, show. He is really. That's why I hang out with him. He is funny. Oh, I know that. He's funny. Okay, so when you guys were driving in the L.A. traffic, and it's a nightmare here. Yeah. I drive at 545 and <laughs> bumper to bumper at 545. Where, who are these people? Where are they going? Well, I think it's a to lot. To the gym, probably. Yeah. To get a smoothie. To the gym. There's a the, lot of people. What's the new cycle thing everybody does? So yeah, let me ask cycle. you this. So we're talking about Super Bowl week, and I told my, uh, my audience a couple days ago, during Super Bowl week, I never go out to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday night before I leave on Friday, because I don't generally stay for the game, I get home. Thursday night, if there's a party with my agency or something, I'll make a showing, maybe have half a beer, go. But I don't, Because I don't want my peers to see me. But you guys played in Super Bowls. Did you go out and party at all? A little bit? You got no. two weeks. You didn't party, Terry, you didn't party once. Not one time. No. Not one time. In four Super Bowls, not one time. Never went out. Never. So I think people would be surprised, Howie, how serious Terry was as a football player. Like, because you're funny on TV, <clears throat> but when I've talked to you, I've always been taken <clears throat> back by your seriousness. Like, you were— you Well, it's a job. I had, I had a responsibility to uh, the football team and uh, Tremendous the organization. Pressure. And uh, while I had a big personality, uh, I knew there would be a time— Matter of fact, when I retired, I told my mom, I said, well, now I can have some fun. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, so now it can be me because it's very serious. You gotta, you, you've got to take your work very serious. Yeah, and you now, Howie, I, I, I don't see you as a go out party guy. No, no, no. no. This just in. No. Yeah, no. I mean, you're you married? There's a, nothing at a bar for me other than a fight or a. You know, well, you did get an occasional scraps. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. How, how often did you? Now you're a very uh, at work. Yeah, you got in fights at practice. Yeah. You were a tough he guy. He ran a guy down in the tunnel for Kansas City you and do? went in his no, locker room no, no, and no. beat him up. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> that's how, yeah. See, that, that's the classic game of telephone. We sit in a circle, we pass the story on, and by the time it comes back around to the other end of the circle, it's a different team. I've beaten somebody up. What it was happened? San Francisco. It was the offensive okay. line coach. Who was it? And I went who to go was, in their who, locker room. Who was it? It was Bob McKittrick. Did you oh, beat him? The up? late Bob McKittrick. Okay. Who who I who ended up and I you know I I have a great deal of admiration for Bob. Now Joe Montana called me up on the phone. Uh, I was driving to the airport on a, on a Monday after work here at Fox, and said uh, Bob McKittrick is getting ready to pass, <clears throat> and he'd like to talk to you. And he wants to make wow. peace. And we had a great conversation. Wow. Uh, I, I have a great deal of respect for him. And I hope when I'm staring at death's door, I, I'm, I'm as uh, poised and as so brave as he was. So it was a really yeah. genuine, earnest conversation yep. about yep. that moment. The things you do at 25, you know, golly. See, that's amazing because, Terry, it's funny. Colin, you, went to Colin, you don't understand. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, this man was out there for he was we uh, i mean i was way out there yeah what what Trust brought me. you back home a woman uh kids a wife you know once great you have, wife <clears throat> once you have kids you know you got an eight-year-old i mean when i retired i had chris was then eight kyle was five <laughs> uh howie was four and it was my poor wife you know i, I got something what? <laughs> <clears throat> howie howie and i have grown to love one another like brothers. Yeah. Didn't start off that way. We oh, didn't. No. But we got it straightened out, out real quick. He, he reached out and we ironed out our differences yeah. really fast. And, and because of it, we become brothers. Yeah. 
But <laughs> I saw him in production meetings at Fox. Early. Early. Okay. Stand up and threaten Ooh. to whoop the producer's ass. That doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> there's a couple of things that there's a couple of things that I, I don't play around with. One is family. And, and at that, that particular Absolutely. situation, somebody that was associated with Fox had done that. <clears throat> and and it was quickly remedied and moved on from. Very but first of all, <laughs> yes, I get primitive. Hey, look, I'll walk five blocks around a problem. Don't back me in a corner. Yeah, well, I, can, I I don't think one bit less of you. In fact, I'm thinking of hiring you after that story. <laughs> <laughs> Security. <laughs> he is by far. How is by far the sweetest, kindest guy? He and Michael both big bad defensive tackle and defensive end. Are the sweetest, kindest people. I'm probably nastier than they are. No. And I don't, yeah. You're just grumpy. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just not big and strong and can do anything about well, it. Well, and now, yeah, your right hip hurts. So that adds to it's it. It's my left one. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know your hips as well as I should. <laughs> okay, finally, what were you listening to? I want to know what, when you, you land at LAX or something and you drive up to Pasadena, that's a heck of a drive. It's like an hour of dirt road. That's no good. What'd right. you listen to in the truck? <clears throat> you- I listened to either. NFL radio or f- news. Huh. Bradshaw, what, what are you doing? Uh, in a, I mean, really. I've been fascinated by the confirmation hearings. I've, yeah. What I, about you, Terry? Are you fascinated? I haven't been. You haven't not been? so much. You're not so no. fascinated not by the confirmation? So much. <laughs> I uh, got in the car <laughs> the day before yesterday, <laughs> and my guy goes, hey, I got your favorite channel on. I said, all right. And it was like, don't get my heart. <laughs> don't keep my love. And I'm you going, don't like that? Oh. Okay, that's my favorite channel. Oh, God. I'm a gospel guy. I love gospel music. You no, know that. No, Glenn no. Campbell, God rest, God bless him. Love Glenn Campbell. I was a lineman. Zach Brown band. Love Zach Brown. We're gone. They're legends. It's the hurt. <laughs>